everybody. I'm Anne Morato. I'm the Director of Content Strategy for Modern Salon. And I am sitting across from Chuck Hezekiah. Chuck is an Education Manager for Renee Furterer. And today, we are going to really be diving into how stylists can bring scalp care and thinning hair services into their service menu and what systems and products and advice uh, Renee Furterer can offer and what should be part of their strategy. So Chuck, let's just jump right in by, I would like to know if you are hearing from stylists that they're seeing more clients presenting with scalp issues or thinning hair issues and 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 if so, in what demographics? So thinning hair is really a common occurrence and it's it's happening with everybody. We're also noticed that uh, people in their 20s and 30s are now starting to experience hair thinning and mostly because one of the most common ways for hair thinning that we that's prevalent is actually related to stress. Now we know as people age and you know with the hormonal and uh, hereditary hair loss, which is really more age related and comes you know in their fifties, but we're noticing a really large demographic of young people in their twenties and thirties doing this. We found out something like forty six million people in America are experiencing hair loss, so it's not an uncommon thing anymore for stylists to talk to their clients about. Great. And as you said, we need to broaden our our thinking about what demographic it's presenting in. So what are the, I know I've talked to you about this and I think it's very interesting. What are the two types of thinning hair concerns? Well, the two types they're they they become vast, but the two types that we deal with mostly, which are the most common, are things what we call reactional thin, thinning. Uh that's more what we call telogen of uh, telogen effluvium or rapid thinning because of reactional. So it's cause and reaction to that cause. And then we have what we call progressive thinning. And progressive is usually related to DNA, where someone's getting older in their family history, somebody has it, and what we call hormonal hair loss with progressive. And that's when we talk about uh, sort of uh, postmenopausal, things change, we realize estrogen and progesterone drops, uh, and then testosterone has a place at the table. So the really the most common right now is the reactional one, where it is uh, postpartum, it is due to medication, uh, overworking of hair, um, uh, could be drug related, when I say drug med medicine related, but also the most common is stress related. And since we've all gone through COVID and really dealt with that afterwards, we're noticing a huge rise in younger people concerned with hair thinning and hair loss. So how do you help stylists ask the right questions and, and in the right way to jumpstart that conversation with their client around thinning hair? So the easiest question is, is to ask if the clients have noticed any changes. And I don't like to go in and go, are you losing your hair? Um, <laughs> that can be a little personal. And also I always say for a stylist in a salon, when that question is thrown out, I find that the people on either side of you kind of turn to look like, oh, is she dealing with thinning hair? What's going on? So I find the easiest thing to say, have you noticed any changes in your hair uh, in the last few years, it's a much broader thing, and it's not a yes or no question. Um, it could be that the ponytail is becoming thinner, that the hairline is receding, that they're notice shedding quite rapidly, and um, it changes with every person. But that general question of when did you, you know, do you notice any changes? And if that client says, I think so. The next question I always think is appropriate to ask is, when did you first notice it? Now, this is really going to tell you whether it's reactional or progressive. Mm -hmm. um, I don't necessarily like when, when stylists go in and, and list off, oh, is it medical? Is it stress? Are you going through stuff? We get a little personal with that question, but we can ask broader, have you noticed any changes? And if so, when did you notice? 
Now, the when did you notice part is important because if it's in the last few months, they say, yes, you know, we're in August. I, I noticed in June. That tends to be what we call reactional thinning, cause and effect. Something happens about three months later, you go through rapid shedding and it's diffused. It's all over. And literally they can almost start seeing hair come out in handfuls. Uh, with reactional thinning, you can lose up to almost 40% in a three month period. It's kind of scary. Mm -hmm. But with, with progress, so that's a quick one. I noticed recently. The other one is progressive thinning. And progressive thinning, they'll say, I noticed at... Uh, 45, I noticed at 48, I noticed a year, or it's been happening for several years, that tends to be more progressive. It's longer term, it's slower, and the weakening of hair really shows itself um, with progressive hair loss. So something you shared and that I learned from you, again, I'm learning so much, is you, you talked about the importance of preemptive care. Yes. So can you talk more about how to educate the client that this this isn't just something you have to live with, especially in that progressive thinning hair client category you described? It, you know, I, 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 as long as I've been doing this, it's quite a while, I've noticed a lot of people say, um, this is happening and, I, you know, it's just kind of the course of life. I'm getting older. I'm thinning. And I always say it's kind of like wrinkles. I was in skincare before and I people say, oh, I'm getting older, I'm getting wrinkles. You don't have to. And that's really the key is you don't have to have this happen. The easiest way to deal with that is that preemptive care you're talking about, which is scalp care. Uh, Renee Furter makes a product called Complex 5 and it's a pre-shampoo scalp treatment, kind of like a facial for the scalp. And what it does is it purifies, it exfoliates, it helps to uh, micro-stimulate the scalp. All big words to say, if I can bring blood flow to the scalp, I'm going to bring nutrients to the scalp. And if I can bring nutrients to the scalp, I can stave off or slow down any kind of hair thinning. So Complex 5 is something that we created in 1957. And it's this wonderful product that's still important or has a place today because it cleans and purifies the scalp and micro stimulates, allowing that hair to get fed. And that's probably the simplest way to do it is really making sure that you do scalp treatments once a week. And if you do that, you tend to slow everything down. I've been on them for about 10 years and I've kept my hair and my father's bald, my brother's bald, my uncles are bald. From my mother's side, she was losing her hair, had a lot of thinning up top. And I've kind of staved that off in the last 10 years because I am on my weekly treatments. Ah, that's a great testament. So I also, um, I'm familiar, but I'd love you to better familiarize us with triphasic. Yes. So, so talk about that a little bit and how a stylist would bring that system into their service menu. You know, it's it's funny because with stylists in this, uh, there is sometimes an apprehension to not embarrass their client about recommending products or asking them about this. But as I said, when you're getting, it, I have to imagine anybody who's listening to this has had a client literally every single day for the last time that they've been working is saying, I feel like something's happening. Triphasic is an easy, easy product to do. And the desire to use that is literally the desire to help your client and the desire to educate your client. If they're coming in, you have to have that desire to want to help and to educate. Um, and also, not for nothing, you have to have the desire that you want to make money. <laughs> and I say that because it's a perfect way to build your services at your salon on by adding this one other service, which is scalp treatment and thinning hair treatments. Um, when they say I'm losing my hair, the answer should be, I can help you. And there's quick and easy ways to do it by making sure that you're doing weekly scalp treatments. They can be done at the salon as a salon service, but also there is adjunct care, which is taking these products home and your client to do it in between their treatments. Some stylists might not see their clients for every four to six weeks. 
They can A, have them come in once a week to get the treatment done, or they can do it at the salon to do a luxury version of it, or they can send the clients home with their at-home care so that they are actually keeping up this process in between their salon visits. As stylists who are looking to uh, make beautiful hair and create art with this beautiful hair, it makes sense that you're having your client do their due diligence in between and make sure that they can use this triphasic progressive or triphasic reactional um, as, a, as a service in their salon. It's super easy to do. And literally it is. Uh, it can be a 30 minute scalp treatment or something that's added on for a few minutes at the end of a service to just make sure that you keep that, uh, keep the keep the hair growing. Great. And and so there's two, uh, uh, what do I want to say? Two systems that address the two types of thinning hair concerns as you've kind of like put them into these different categories. Right. Uh, so then, so Chuck, you also mentioned that Renee Furterer, the systems, the products can play well with other products. So what do you mean by that? So I, I love that because uh, there's... It's an additional service that we can offer that very often many companies don't offer the scalp care treatment and thinning hair treatments. It is now the trend. We're starting to see many companies doing it. But for a company that's done this since 1957, we've been in this industry of scalp care and thinning, um, you might have your favorite styling products. You might have your favorite color line. And, and that's great. But the one other service that we can offer um, is that scalp care treatment. And that's going to keep your scalp healthy. Renee Furter's philosophy is beautiful hair grows from a healthy scalp. So if we can keep that hair and scalp healthy, we can do this longer. Why we play well with others is, is that you might have your favorite thing. You might have your favorite style line, your favorite color line. Where Renee Furter specializes in scalp care and thinning treatments, it's an additional service to add on to your clients that you might not be adding now. And again, if your desire is to care for your client's hair, make sure that it's beautiful. If your desire is to assist a client that needs your professional help, and last but not least, to really offer, uh, uh, make opportune to you the, that's not what I want to say, but uh, optimize the effect that you can make more money by offering these additional services that are available. That's the big difference. They're available to you. Uh, we play well with other lines. Our scalp care, our thinning treatments are top of the line, bar none. Uh, and we can offer that even if you're using somebody else's line, adding us in to make sure you've got the best services for your client. That's great. Well, I'm going to wrap this up with one more question because we did talk briefly before about uh, independent stylists and how they can bring in these services. And I, I think that Renee Furterer is really trying to help them, you know, increase scalp care and increase these services for thinning hair. Would you like to talk a little bit about what you're doing with independent stylists? Yes. So uh, this is actually not only for independent stylists, but actually a broader group of stylists and salon owners across the nation. And it's called our affiliate program. And what that means is that, uh, especially for smaller salons or for other salons, since COVID, we've realized that uh, product sales are really going to help build your business. But when COVID came through, People couldn't get to the salon. People couldn't get to you. Uh, they were trying to figure out. I have some salons that were getting phone calls and dropping off at, at the front door to some clients for their products. The advantage is this affiliate program allows independent stylists and stylists uh, at salons to create this program. It's a QR code. Your client scans the QR code. And what it does, for example, if Ann Murata had a salon, it would say the Ann Murata Salon by Renee Furter. It brings them directly to our website. And at that website, these clients can purchase products delivered to their home, but that stylist who has signed up with the affiliate program makes a 40% uh, uh, commission on, a, on that product. And so 
it, at the salon, you're going to get your direct commission, you're going to get your direct profit made. But this way, any client who signs up for this, they go on to the Rene Furter website. But again, it would be under their salon name. And the clients can order products at home 24 hours a day, in seven days a week. And when they make that purchase, that stylist or salon then gets the commission from that. So it's a great way to optimize this new digital uh, world that we live in um, and to make things a little easier. They don't have to create their own new website. They don't have to start from scratch. It's something that we offer and we've seen amazing, amazing results from it. Oh, that's great. And it's also a way for stylists to just continue their care of their client there. It's wonderful. Correct. Yeah. Chuck, yeah. I, I'm so grateful for your time. This has been such a good conversation. And uh, I look forward to, to in, uh, many more to come because this is a, a important topic. So thank you for covering it so thoroughly. I appreciate you having me here today. Thank you.